The first sticking point has been uh, over personnel uh, who's going to lead this uh, new government. Uh, initially, the Democratic Party didn't want uh, Giuseppe Conte to come back. Uh, they didn't want continuity with, uh, uh, or perceived continuity with the previous government. Um, they've now made a concession on that, and that's been a very important uh, breakthrough uh, confirmed today. Uh, and the new sticking point appears to be Luigi Di Maio, uh, because they don't want him in a, a really important uh, role uh, in the government. They don't want him as a deputy premier, for example, uh, as he was before. And they also don't want a, a setup where you have uh, Conte as a, an apparently uh, impartial leader and the leaders of the two uh, main parties in the coalition as deputy premier. That would be a, a repeat of the formula uh, that has just uh, completed its, its uh, work and which uh, the Democratic Party uh, view in a very negative light. Um, there are also some uh, problems about policy, but I think the really key uh, issues uh, have been over personnel, and it looks as though they are being smoothed out uh, as we talk. Now, you uh, describe Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte as impartial there. He's been overseeing these negotiations. He's not affiliated to either party. Can you tell us a little bit more about his role uh, in the coming days? Uh, yes, well, it, it's emerging as a crucial uh, role. Uh, he uh, arrived out of obscurity uh, to become uh, Prime Minister of Italy uh, 14 months ago. Uh, he was a little-known academic figure, a, a lawyer, a law professor, uh, and uh, he was seen as uh, closer, uh, clearly, to the Five Star Movement uh, than to the Anti-Immigrant uh, League. Uh, but over time, his... Uh, uh, prestige has grown uh, very considerably. He's become uh, possibly the most uh, popular figure in Italian uh, politics uh, at, the, at the moment. Uh, and uh, he's also uh, clearly seen now as uh, a representative uh, of the Five Star Movement within the government, uh, which is one reason why the Democratic Party uh, say they don't want any sort of pretense uh, that he's impartial. He's now uh, fully ascribed uh, to uh, Five Star uh, and therefore the balancing act in the government uh, must take account of that. Um, he'll probably be pleased that uh, he was endorsed today uh, to continue as uh, Prime Minister uh, by no, no less a person than Donald Trump. Uh, so uh, in, in many other occasions uh, that might be considered as uh, damaging, but in this case uh, I think uh, uh, he'll be happy and uh, it won't hurt his chances uh, no. either.